you're what's going on welcome back to three real motion angling it's your man Khalil G I realized I forgot to shoot an intro and an outro for this last video this is the finale for the 2020 Florida series the most fun I've had fishing since I started filming and video recording fishing um, for myself but for now enjoy the finale the 2020 Florida fishing series because for me it was a competition I just wanted to make sure that I beat my dad and got the bragging rights before we left up out of that place uh, who caught the most fish so this is a scramble to catch more fish than this gentleman and I hope you enjoy stay tuned Right, this is our last day of the trip and it seems like everybody's being loud today. I decided to do my last little night fish, get it in. Little bass, I thought he was having a good meal. Oh, you must be hooked in the gut, you bleeding. Yeah, yeah, stop spitting blood everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like the rain has subsided. I almost broke the tip of my rod just then. I'm gonna walk a 7 4 rod out of a 6 8 door. Oh, it rained this ass off out here, but it's back to Bluebird as you can see. That's that Florida life. Let me just go ahead and cleanse you for the day. Uh, let's see if that changed the dynamic of the water. I really can't wait to check this video. I need to see exactly how much of this bird shit y'all are actually listening to. If it is, I can't tell if there's any fish on this side. Like it's the same bumpily rocky surface, which feels like rocks, but I'm assuming it's vines and sticks too. Let's go back to Old Faithful. This side produces every time. what it is about this corner over here. Oh, something bit me. I'm pretty sure something bit me. That was a yank back that wasn't a drag across. You know, it's crazy. I've never been to a, uh, I guess you can consider this a a lake I mean like, it's a little big to be a pond but I guess that depends on where you're from but for this lake slash pond I've never been to a place where you can literally stand in like one spot and win all day like the first good fishing trip I spent here I did actually walk around and go fish the other bank and all the other stuff and I felt like the other side would produce had I not been trailing behind another, you know, another angler that day. So I normally just kind of stay here on the bank right off of where I'm staying. And I have scored every single time I throw the rod out. I'm not accustomed to that in Georgia. Like where I fish at in Georgia, you got to grind your fish out. And I'd be out four, five, six hours and catch one fish down here same technique same stuff that i do when i'm up there but down here i can knock out three three fish in an hour speaking of fish i just caught one and my line tangled he may be on there he may not be nope dang it i was just talking to y'all about how my techniques work and something bit me 
and I ill properly set the hook. Of course, it also could have been a stone. Who knows? They are out here and they are biting, but they are all squeakies. And I haven't seen anything big. I mean, the biggest thing I've seen was that tilapia and I haven't seen another one since day one. And I'm actually looking for one of those to bite again. I was hoping to catch another one. I don't know what they eat, but they wanted that, that uh, trench hog. So maybe they like that lizard look. But today I just wanted to do just this worm by itself. Shaky head style. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you what I'm not gonna miss. The flies around here. Florida has so many flies. You would think, you would think there's something dead in front of everything you go to do. Like you would think, oh, maybe it's just a trash can or maybe something stinks. Like they're at the front door, they're at the back door, they're in the, they're at the garage, they're in the street. Like wherever I go, I have to swat away fly, flies. It's just flies everywhere. What is that? Is that my tail? It looks like a tail. Should I bite my tail off? Am I tripping? It looks like my tail. Yeah. This shit turned into <laughs> turned into almost a rattling net. Let's see if I can make this work. No ribbon on this tail. We're gonna keep going. Now it's a finesse fish. Now it's a finesse one. I got you, buddy. That's number 10 for the week. It's getting a little warm out. It's always, it's always moist out here. It's always humid. With cloud cover, with wind, it's still very humid out here. Got nothing against the, the humidity. But when your day starts at 90 something degrees and only goes up, it makes you feel like the day is long. This is gonna be officially my last night here. Oh, did I have something or was I just bumbling around? No, I, oh, I did have something. Then I rehook my set myself into something else. Yeah, boy, something definitely bit me. What is right there? A pipe or grate? What is this thing? Trying to put on another one of these Super Salt Plus Mag 2 from June Bug. It's a lot of name for uh, curly tail. But I guess you gotta be different somehow. Time for my earbuds so I can sing to myself and think I worry about no copyright infringement. Go get him, Tiger. That's my boo.
Oh, he spit it. I felt him take it too. I just I was unsure whether I should set the hook or not. Sure enough, I messed up by getting the front end wrapped. That was about to be number 11. It's so crazy because I'm like in my own mind having these conversations. And I'm like, I could just have these conversations out loud with you guys. But some of the stuff that's on my mind should probably stay there. So I apologize for all these moments of complete and utter silence as I try to work my way through this. But the technique hasn't really changed. You know, if you're watching me for for a quick technique, that's one thing. And watching me for my comedic banner, right now I'm in my head. And I apologize because I'm out here working and doing this for y'all, but I'm in my own head thinking about all these birds and how loud they are. I'm thinking about this drive. I'm thinking about getting this stuff together tonight because I got to get everything packed up and cleaned up tonight. Cause we got to be out in the morning. You know, I may have enough time if I get it all done tonight. I may have enough time to come out and do a morning run and get a good couple hours in. I can get at least three hours in if we're not supposed to be out till 1130. I can fish for a good three, four hours before I even have to pack the car. And then that, uh, you know, I can probably win again by then because I this has just been a nonstop sleigh fest out here. And I want to take this goddamn confidence back to Georgia. I want to be able to. I want to be able to run with this all summer. Just get you a little night fish in there. I wish my lake had the same surface. My lake is very grassy. I got, it's a whole nother. It's a whole nother setup to be on that lake. These GoPros get hot. Got seven percent left. That's enough to get a couple more casts in. Oh, I gotta change the battery. I keep bumping my hand into it. I'm just like, man. Is that a bite or am I hitting something? I know I do got something. I'm on. Come on. What is he? Come here. Come on. Water ski him. Hey all it's Squeaks McGee. What's going on, Squeaks? You count. You just squeaky. Right to the top of the face. Squeaks McGee. He made the he made the feature film today. Have a good day, buddy. That's three for the day. That's not bad for some night fishing. All right, we keep getting snagged, so we gotta keep moving down, moving down. Maybe we'll stop getting snagged every time we cast up this way. You know what? I've been off all week doing this fishing for this trip. Totally forgot today was Friday, you know, for everybody else. So I'm like, why is people out partying and making all this noise? And you're starting to see people come to the lake. I'm so, oh, it's the weekend. You kind of forget that when you're out of town all week. I'm on, I'm on 11 right now. Let's see if I can get some more. I want to catch like 12, 13. I don't remember what number my pop said he was on. But he started catching crappie and, I'm not crappie. He started catching bluegills and panfish. He started counting those. So, I mean, I guess we're playing multi-species since my tilapia counts. But if that's the case, then I'm behind again, but I'm all bass though. Like I threw one little crappie jig in one time, but it was so windy that the wind just kept taking it down. So I stopped. So as far as bass go, I'm on 10 bass. 10 bass, one crappie. Guys at the bank to the wave with us. 
Stop rotating. Okay, GoPro stopped and died when I caught this one. So you have no video of me pulling it up. But I want you to see I caught another one before I change my battery and try again. So this is fish number 12 for the week. Get out of here, buddy. Yes. We out here making it happen. All right, and we're back. I just told myself not too long ago to check this battery. I said it's down to 7%. It's enough for a couple more casts. And I just went on fishing like it was nothing. So I don't know if it was just that last fish that didn't get put on video or maybe even the fish before it is there. I'm on, I'm on 12 right now. They're all squeakity squeak squeakins, but no one ever said that that didn't count because it does. Right now I'm watching my line because I've realized in the last couple of bites that I haven't felt them, felt them, but I see my line doing something different. Like I'm dead sticking. I'm bouncing off the rocks. I'm tat, 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 dead stick. And then I'm just watching the line for a second. I'm pulling my line in. I'm making it sort of tight so I can feel something if something happens, but generally just tight lines. And then if nothing, tap, 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 tap. Feel it go across a few more things, really in my slack, and wait. Somewhere between five seconds or longer would be nice. You know, anywhere in the five second range and up is good. daylight slowly but surely it's 828 not been summertime it'd be pitch black right now so i'm estimating another 20 something minutes of sunlight before it's too dark to make any kind of real things happen with it because we have to have footage my brother made it real simple on me he was like hey you caught three fish that first day i was like yep i said yeah but i only really got pictures of two he said so you really only caught two fish I said, nah, I caught three. We seen it. We held it. I touched it. He said, but you only got pictures of two? I said, yeah, I can only prove two, though. Got your ass. Oh! He didn't have the whole thing in his damn mouth. Stop playing, man. I gave you time and everything to hold on to that. Come on, man. Number 13. The shaky head setup is killer. I learned this fishing on uh fishing at Charles Elliott Lake. Cause that's what I used to start catching fish when I first broke my peep, broke my uh burp, boat purse. Burp. I can't not speak. When I first when I <laughs> when I first broke my boat curse, I was using this same weight, the same shaky head setup but except I was using a cinnamon lunk a lot. So it's basically the same thing except for I'm using one of these zoom curly tails. I guess they call it the mag too. Just gonna see if I can catch lucky number 13. I'm down to that last 20 minutes of sunlight. I'm gonna fish my way back towards my exit. It's just me, you, and this rod. The white bird powered by favorite. This one with the with the um, shaky head setup. This is my weighted worm rod. And then my small, my other uh, mid-sized bait cast, I mean mid-sized spinner, open face is just killing them. I had a Ned rig on that rattling. I had a rattling net on it the whole time and it was killer. I just want number 13. All right, like I said, last couple of minutes of daylight. Y'all can kind of see a little bit. Probably better that way than you can this way. I'm out here looking for one more. As much as I want to quit, I really just want one more. Even if it doesn't help me win, it'll make me feel good. I think my dad has 13, truthfully. 
and I'm really trying to go home with these bragging rights, but I doubt I'm gonna get 14 before I go in the house. So I'm really just trying to get 13 so I can at least tie it up. Yeah, it's time to go in. These bugs are just all over me. That must be the only thing outside right now. All right, so like I said, I didn't film an outro, so I guess I have to sign myself out of this one. He got dark out, of course. I couldn't catch number 13, you know, to try to catch up and put myself up. But luckily I found out later after I got back home, after we got back into to Georgia, that um, he only caught 12 fish. So we ended up tying, which is a good deal. I didn't lose, you know what I'm saying? I didn't lose, I didn't win. And neither one of us can brag on each other. So it was a tie ball game by the end. He caught 12 fish on his own, I caught 12 fish on my own by the end of the week. And it was a good fishing trip. So I hope you really enjoyed watching this video series with me. If you made it this far, please remember to click, comment, and subscribe down below. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Tell me what you might want to see next. Comment some other places you think it'd be fun for me to go to and try out. Remember, I do have a boat. I can do boat series um, on certain waters, all bank fishing, however it goes. Just let me know what you might think down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending your time. Hats off to you.